Hey, how's it going guys? Spectacular Gamer here, and today I've got another top 5 video, and I'm going to be showing you the top 5 launch glitches that are still working after patch 1.30 in GTA 5 Online. So that being said, let's get in to the video. Okay guys, so you're going to come to this location where these blue fences are, it's just near the pier. And once you get here, you're going to knock them down so they are flat on the floor. Once you've done this, you're then going to get a friend, and you're going to go into passive mode. Now, as soon as you're in passive mode, you're then going to stand on top of one of these blue fences, and you're going to get your friend to put some sticky bombs on top or around you where you stood. Make sure that they are on top of the fence, and as soon as you've done this, you can then ask your friend to detonate them. And once he does that, you should then launch straight up into the air, and you can get a pretty good height from doing this launch glitch, but you won't get too high. But yeah, this is the first one, and let's move on to number two. Okay, so the fourth location is at the pier. I'm pretty sure you all know where this is. And you're going to go towards the edge of the pier and make sure you are like further down the pier and so you're diving into deep water. Once you do that, then you need to go into like the furthest camera mode. So it's the camera mode just before first person. Now, once you've gone into this camera mode, make sure you are facing your character as well. Now you're going to jump into the water and as soon as you jump into the water and your character is about to dive you then want to switch to first person and your character then just sort of dive back onto the pier and launch up into the air and you can't really get too high with this but it is pretty cool to do uh, and I definitely recommend doing it. Okay, so number three involves getting a barracks, one of the army trucks, and you can find them at this location on the map, which is at the Richards Majestic Car Park. And once you've got one from here, you're then going to drive it outside the Richards Majestic Apartments. So if you don't know where it is, I'm going to show you where it is now. And you, once you get to this location, you need to make sure that you park it just like we do here in the video. And it's just on the grass, and make sure it is in this location, because if it's not in this location, it won't work. Okay, so once you've packed up the barracks, you're now going to climb on top of it and sort of wedge yourself in between the front of the vehicle and the back bit. So, like you see me in the video. And once you sort of get in there, you're going to notice that your body should start moving towards the left. If it doesn't do this, then try and move your body just a little bit. And it should then automatically just slowly go to the left and then launch you straight up into the air. Now this is probably the highest launch glitch that I've seen in a while. It, you can get so far up, it might take you a couple of tries to get really high, but it is definitely a worthy launch glitch in this top 5. Okay, for the next one, you're going to come down to this location. It's where all the helicopters are. I'm pretty sure you all know where this is. And you're going to find a Frogger helicopter. They usually do spawn at this pad here. If they don't, then just drive away and come back, and one should definitely spawn. And what you're going to do now is you're going to blow it up. And once you blow it up, you need to watch out for where the sort of tail fin, I think that's what you call it, of the helicopter goes. So make sure that it keep an eye on it and also if you are doing it with a friend you may notice that it may go someplace different on their screen so as you can see it has landed here so we're going to go up to it and we're going to try and flick it uh, up the right way around so try and get it to the right side okay so as you can see I've now got it sitting right up and you're gonna pull out your flare gun now once you pull out your flare gun you're then going to stand on top of it and shoot your flare gun towards the end of the tail fin and as you can see you should fly Pretty high up into the air, you shouldn't fly too high, but I did actually get quite a good height from this one. So definitely check this one out, it is worth doing it, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, so for this final launch glitch, you're going to need a dump truck and a rhino tank. Now, if you don't have a dump truck or you can't afford one because they are like a million dollars, you can get one from the quarry. They are sort of driving around there a lot and do spawn there and for a tank you're gonna have to buy one because it's quite tricky to nick a tank but once you've got these two what you're going to do is you're going to get into the dump truck if you're the one that wants to sort of fly it into the air and your friend is going to sort of drive the rhino tank into the back of the dump truck now what they're going to then do is as they are driving it into they're going to use their sort of gun at the front and try and push it up and once you do that the dump truck should then fly straight up into the air and again you can get some pretty decent height from this one you shouldn't get too high but it is still pretty cool 
and I wanted to do one that involves vehicles instead of just doing one that launches your character up into the air as well. So, I hope you did enjoy this top 5. If you did, please be sure to leave a like rating. I have been doing a lot of top 5 recently because they have been getting some decent views on my channel. And I haven't done launch glitches yet, so I thought it was a pretty good video to post. So, yeah, if you did, please give a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.